So yeah, here's just a quick demonstration of a uh, Super Nintendo emulating on the DSi. This is actually a super card right here. It shows up as Star Wars because of Nintendo's anti-piracy crap. With the newest firmware update, everything has to show up as a legitimate game, so they picked that one. I guess that looked the least obnoxious. Compared to the Ace card showing up as Danny Phantom, at least. So, um, if we go in here, give it a second to load. Okay, now there's a thing called SNEMULDS. And if you open it, Okay, give it a second. Here we go. Now you can select your game. And just this is just a different variety. Now not every game will work. I know like Earthbound works. I believe all the titles I have on here do. But some of them don't. Due to random stuff. Um because the DS is not as powerful as like a computer. So second. Okay. I mean, considering that I just started this, I just put the ROM in here yesterday, but... Um... <clears throat> Either way, though. You can see it emulates sound and everything. Okay, you know what? That's hurting my ears. As much as people like this game, it seriously pisses me off. Why does it sound so retarded? Okay. Uh... Talk to? There's nobody here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically just said that. Alright. Um... Uh, as soon as this annoying sound stops, I'll be happy. Right. Alright, anyway, so, um, let's try F-Zero, which is one of my favorite Super Nintendo titles. Super Mario Kart works, but it's really, really, really buggy. If you want a racing game on here, go with F-Zero, it's better. I mean, at least as far as emulation goes. So let's go to Grand Prix. This is one of the few games I know where B is the accelerator instead of A. I kid you not. Go play it on a real Super Nintendo. Um, alright, so more or less I'm not gonna be able to actually play this, but Okay. Yeah. I can't I can't steer it one hand, but you get the idea. Um say like Super Mario World. So I mean as you can see it works with like I said, I I think all of the games I have in here work. But I have run into titles where they don't. Now this is a little interesting one. Let me go. With, let me go back to Earthbound here because I noticed this. Um, some games it's not noticeable. Some it is. The Super Nintendo, like technical fact about it, actually has a taller resolution than four to three. And what the actual hardware did was it would just stretch it to fit your TV. <clears throat> uh, and I mean, it was supposed to do that. It's not like it was a mistake. What the heck was this? What is this? Never seen that before. Okay. So yeah, uh, let's go, let's go start new game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alright, see, see at the bottom here? See how it's cut off a little bit? So, if you go into options, screen layout options, this scaling thing, you can set it to medium or full screen. Now you'll notice it fits. But the text is kind of weird looking now. Um... So, it just depends on, you know, most games I just play like this. But so if you're picky enough, you can't actually change it. There's also this, um, I don't know what Y scroll does. But you can play with the settings. Um, yeah. You know, you can undo, you can get rid of sound or something. Um, yeah. And then you, this actually has a load state and save state ability. Like, let's go to a game that I actually have. Save it in. And then you can go like this and be like... And now you're just instantly in the game. And then, of course, you can save to wherever. So... <clears throat> That's Super Nintendo emulation on a DS for you. <clears throat> just as an aside, I'll show NES emulation too. I actually like this emulator a lot better than the computer one. I haven't found one for PC that's even remotely as good as NES DS. Simply because it actually lets you rewind the game. And I'm not even kidding you. Uh, actually, no, it might not work on this card because it's having issue. No, no, it works. Okay, that was weird. It wasn't working the other day. So, go to NES here. Again, you can put the ROMs wherever you want. I just had to organize mine. Let's go down to... Gotta go with uh, Super Mario Brothers. I mean, how could you not? It's NES. And 
you have to go in here, be an H change, unless you like it screwed up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this one, as you see, there's nothing on the bottom screen. You can tap it to get options, but it saves your battery. It just turns off. Um, so, say you're playing Super Mario Brothers, and again, I mean, how, I can't really do it that well with only one hand. But say you run in there and you're like, oh, crap, I died. You could, oop, rewind it, and now you're not dead. See? And then, say you, okay, say you're getting bored. You can, like, fast forward the game, etc. So, you know, you can fast forward, rewind, etc. <clears throat> and this works with pretty much 100% of titles I've ever come across, so, just FYI. As far as what other systems you can emulate, you can't emulate Game Boy Advance. People have asked me that plenty of times. Um, that's due to the fact that the DS and DS Lite have an actual GBA processor in them. The DSi doesn't. Uh, so, even on a DS, if you're going to play Game Boy Advance, you need a slot for it, like a GBA card. Um, but you can also emulate, uh, Lame Boy here will emulate Game Boy Color. I don't know why they called it Lame Boy, it's kind of a weird name, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I don't make the emulators. Let's go with, I don't have that many, but let's go with Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Yeah, me and Super Mario Brothers are like, yeah, okay, so, you can go like, this is the native, re wait, it was wrong, but, what the heck? No, it's, hold on a sec, yeah, the options changed around, so, basically you can, Let's go in here, okay. This is the, see as you can see, this is the actual size of the game. Then if you set the scale on, it makes it, it makes it bigger, so it fills the height. I don't know how well you can see it because of this light, but it'll actually fill up the height of your screen. <clears throat> and it won't stretch it, like some of those pesky other emulators do. And then you can do the scaling filter, it makes it look better. This one lets you fast forward it. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, let me get out of options here, it's not gonna work. Um, and it will save every time automatically. Let's see, now it's... Ah, uh, okay, anyway. I... Point being, is you can, you can uh, fast forward the games. This one's being messed up right now, but yeah, you can. Uh, you can't rewind though, which is, I guess that's fine. Other emulators, there is one for Sega Dreamcast. I don't think I have it on here. Yeah, no, I don't. Um, this, it doesn't work all that well. It emulates a couple of games, but like Sonic the Hedgehog is like the only good Dreamcast game anyway, and I just have the GBA remake. <clears throat> so that's about it as far as emulation goes. Oh, wait, check this out. This isn't an actual console, but this is just as cool. Give it a second. Look at that. It's a TI-83 Plus calculator. And it actually works, too, if you... Let's see. So, yeah, it's a legit calculator. So that's about it for emulation on a DSi. Uh, you obviously need a special flash card for it. Once the SuperCard uh, DS2 comes out, it should be able to do GBA, which is just like an iPlayer. Which I don't know anything about those, but I have heard of them. So yeah, DRF.